Hello friends. Today we have for sale a really cool military power supply. Designation is PP2953DU. Uh, and it looks like it was uh, warranty expired in 2014. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, these things are built like tanks. Uh, it's got this uh, lid that if I were to remove the power cable, uh, it, it would secure down with these captive screws. Not exactly sure when you would operate in that way, maybe in the DC only mode, and I'll, I can tell you a little bit about that, meaning DC to DC converter. Um, and then this lid lifts up and uh, stows away there. This appears to be uh, for maybe nitro for pressurization or maybe releasing pressure that builds up over time. So what's the story behind this? So we've got an AC input, uh, power off and power on, DC. This is AC on, this is DC, so you can turn the AC on, it goes through a self-test. And it says zero volts because the DC is off. It's reading the output of, of the unit. So we'll turn DC on and we'll see 28.0 volts. Now this is one output. Uh, not that useful because we don't have this connector and it's probably going to be hard to find. But what's interesting is you'll see there's two big pins for power and the two small pins are sensing pins. So you could, uh, if this needs to run for a distance, you could run uh, two small sensing wires all the way out to the load and it will be regulated at the right voltage at the load. Um, we've got a, an adjust, an adjustment for voltage and you can show, show voltage middle position is turns it off and lower position is current. Now I don't have anything connected, but uh, half an amps probably is measuring probably its own, um, you know, internal uh, usage of current. I'll put back to voltage. And I'll just show you the uh, range of adjustment on this. Um, and it's got this lock nut. So it goes down to 23.7. 23 and up to 32.3, I'll just set it at 28 for shits and giggles, 28. There we go. And then you just tighten this nut and you'd be good in good shape. So how do we get the output of this thing? Well, along around the back, you will see three standard military connectors here. Uh, and this comes with uh, three cables. And what's the story here? So the story is you've got two output cables. This is your uh, traditional power output style cable. And uh, it's got two of these. So you see these bottom two are output. This top one is an input cable. And uh, you can tell, of course, by the, by the gender of it. So it's got a, a male input. And what is that for? Uh, I can't do this one-handed. So what you can do here is you can connect this as a shore power system in a, in a vehicle. And uh, you can have the battery, the 24 uh, or 28 volt battery feed into this and it will convert it. It'll do a DC to DC conversion from whatever the input is, probably a wide range. I have the specs listed online to whatever you have the output set to, in this case, 28 volts. Uh, and so that's convenient. But uh, once you have shore power, uh, if you're you know, set up at a campsite or somewhere and you turn the unit on, it will use the AC as a source of power, not your battery. So it's just sort of convenient. You can run all your uh, equipment off this, whether you're running a on a local battery or, um, or you're running off AC. So the unit is, is literally brand new condition. You can see that the, the carcass barely has even any scuffs on it. Uh, it'll come with these three cables shown here, and it comes with this AC uh, AC cable here, which you'll see um, it's just a standard American three-prong type what I have going into a uh, extension cord. It's a short, it's a short, it's maybe uh, three feet long. Yep, this is exactly three feet long, if you can see that. No, I can't see it. Three feet, zero inches. All right. Not much more to say about this. Oh, I, the output power is, hold on, let me, let me find that. That's probably important. Hold on, let me, let me get that. 
Okay, so I uh, hope you can see this on my screen. But this is a whopper of a power supply. As you can read here, it's an 800 watt power supply able to produce up to 25 amps. Uh, that's a lot. That is a lot of power, 25 amps, sure to run 800 watts is, it will run uh, you know, a 400 watt uh, radio system without much trouble. Um, yeah, so, so that's the details. Uh, height, width, depth, volume, pounds, it's not, not light at 36 and a half pounds, but uh, we will get this shipped as best as we can. So if you're interested, contact me at W2HX at W2HX.com. Thanks.